Kim Jong-un has warned continental United States is within range of his intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yesterday's rogue test has prompted the US to call for an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. President Donald Trump said the launch was reckless and dangerous, adding America will take all necessary steps to protect its territory. It was just before midnight in North Korea, another test of an intercontinental ballistic missile or ICBM. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un watched over the most advanced display of his military's missile capabilities yet. Analysts estimate it has the range to hit mainland United States. The rare nighttime test from a new site apparently intended to demonstrate more flexibility when it comes to where and when a launch can take place. Through this test, the reliability of our ICBM system has been reconfirmed. It demonstrates our ability to attack with the ICBM at any time from any place, and it proves that all parts of the U.S. are within our firing range. The United States and South Korea immediately responded with joint live fire drills, and the two nations agreed to open talks on revising the guidelines to South Korea's missile program. They'll discuss doubling the payload on the South's ballistic missiles. We sternly warn that if North Korea continues its missile provocations, we will firmly prepare ourselves with various core military strength. North Korea should not misjudge or test our will. 
The government in Seoul also wants to deploy more launchers as part of the controversial U.S. missile defense system known as THAAD, which Beijing has strongly opposed. We will discuss as soon as possible temporary placement of additional THAAD launchers by the U.S. forces Korea, and we will establish our independent defense system against North Korea's nuclear weapons and missiles. South Korea had been proposing military talks with the North, but it received no answer. President Moon is calling for a stern response, including from the UN Security Council. That would require approval from China and Russia. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said in a statement, as the principal economic enablers of North Korea's nuclear weapon and ballistic missile development program, China and Russia bear unique and special responsibility for this growing threat to regional and global stability. North Korean state media quoted Kim Jong-un as saying that the U.S.'s talk of war and extreme sanctions only emboldened North Korea and offered a better excuse for its nuclear weapons. Our alliance's readiness and ability to fight together when called upon to achieve is achieved through frequent, realistic, combined training. President Trump's been leaning on China to intervene here. Where is China on this right now? Well, they've been supporting the North Koreans. So, for instance, this missile that they fired on July 4th and the one to, uh, yesterday, that was brought to the launch site by a Chinese transporter erector launcher, a crucial piece of equipment. Also, there's some indication that North Korea's most advanced missiles, and the one fired yesterday was not the most advanced, yeah. that the most advanced missiles are derived from Chinese versions. So we need to have a conversation with the Chinese in public, asking them why Chinese-looking missiles and equipment are in the North Korean inventory. We haven't had that conversation yet. We heard from President Trump after the launch on July 4th, and he said that he was considering some pretty severe things regarding North Korean response. Does that mean military action? Is that possibly what we see next? 